Christy Brinkley, she looks incredible at the age of 66. Is it plastic surgery? And if it is, what do you need to know about it? My name is Dr. Anthony Yoon and I'm known as America's Holistic Plastic Surgeon. I help health conscious men and women look and feel incredible using the right foods, clean skin care, and the latest non-invasive treatments. And if you are considering surgery, I'll show you how to do it safely and holistically. And today on this episode, we're gonna focus all on Christy Brinkley and her plastic surgery. Now, before I get into it, I do need to say that I am not her plastic surgeon. I have never treated her before, so all of this is just my opinion. But there's a lot here to deconstruct and a lot that you can learn about. So this is Christy back when she was the age 25, and this is her now at the age of 66. And if you take a look at her, she looks amazing. She looks incredible, but, I do think she's had some plastic surgery. Now, when you take a look at her, the nice thing is these pictures are very, very similar in how she's smiling and where she's looking at the camera. And you can see she's got great bone structure, but there are some changes that have been made over time to keep her looking so incredible. Now, I don't think that these changes have been surgical recently. I do think that the surgical changes happened a bit in the, in the distant past. So now this is her once again at age 25, and now you can see her at age 58. And at 58, looking once again incredible. But this is where I think that she's had some work done. Now if you take a look at her, uh, her eyebrows, okay, maybe a touch lifted here. If you look at where her hairline is, her hairline has moved back a touch. This may be a possible sign of a very well done endoscopic brow lift. A brow lift will elevate the eyebrows, but it also moves the hairline back a little bit. Now, it's not unusual for somebody's hairline to move back a little bit as they get older. I mean, that's happened to me myself, but this could be a possible sign of a very subtle but well-done endoscopic brow lift. Also, as we take a look at her eyes, obviously she's got a lot of mascara on, she's got the false lashes, but it is definitely possible that she's had her eyelids done as well. Hard to say for sure, once again, if she's had it done, very, very well done. Now, no question, we do know that as our face ages, our lips get thinner. And when you take a look at her before and after, her lips have actually gotten fuller. Hmm, that's not very typical. So I do think that she's had some inject injections of filler in her lips that have helped plump her lips up. And that's one reason why they look so great today. Otherwise, when you take a look at her, and this is something that's very subtle, okay? The sign of a good facelift is not a face that looks like it's in a wind tunnel. It's not a face that you look at and you say, oh wow, look how tight her face is. The sign of a good facelift is a person who has a very sharp neckline and a sharp jawline without jowls, and they're in their late 50s or 60s. And so this is her at age 58, looking, with, looking incredible with this fantastic sharp jawline. So I believe sometime between these two pictures that she underwent a really well done lower facelift. She also most likely has had some injections of filler or more likely fat into her cheeks as well. When you take a look at her at age 25, she's got nice full cheeks making her look, helping her look real youthful. Well, she has retained that volume in her cheeks at age 58. Very unusual, okay? It, can be natural, but in her case, I do bet that she's probably had some injections of either injectable filler like Restylane uh, Lift or Voluma, or maybe she's had injections of her own fat. Uh, there's some other minor things that we can talk about, um, but let's do that on our next picture here. So those are some of the surgeries I think that she's had done. Now, in 2017, she's admitted to some non-surgical treatments, Xeomin and Altherapy. So what is Xeomin and what is Altherapy? Well, Xeomin is basically uh, a competitor to Botox. Xeomin helps to smooth the wrinkles of the forehead, of the crow's feet, and of the glabella, which are the frown lines that you can get between your eyebrows. And she has actually admitted uh, in an interview that she's had those, uh, that, that treatment done, which is very common. Five million people every year have Botox or, or a competitor type of injection done. And that's one reason why when you look at her before, uh, when she's at 58 and when she's at 66, she's got a very smooth forehead, she has very little crow's feet, she does not ha not have those angry 11 sign between her eyebrows, and I think that's because of the Xeomin that she's had injected. 
Well, what is L-therapy? L-therapy is an ultrasound treatment that can tighten up the skin. And basically what they do is we take a ultrasound device, the same type of uh, ultrasound that helps you to look inside uh, a pregnant woman's belly at a little baby, and you turn those ultrasound waves way up and you focus them into the deep skin. And what you can do then is you can get that skin to tighten up by heating the collagen to a certain temperature. And what that can do is it can take a neckline that's starting to get a little bit loose and it can help to tighten it up. And I think that those are some things that she probably has had between the ages of 58 and 66. She's undergone these non-invasive or minimally invasive treatments to keep her looking great. Um, now just to take a peek, if you look real closely, you can see that at age 66, her upper lip is actually fuller than it was at age 58. And at age 58, if you remember, her upper lip was fuller than it was when she was 25. So in my opinion, that does show um, a possible likely sign of her have having had some injections of filler or maybe her own fat into her lips, and her lips look great. Um, also, take a look, her face is still nice and full. At age 66, this is not very common unless somebody is significantly overweight, which obviously she is not. And so that, to me, is a sign, once again, of either fillers injected into her cheeks or of fat. And once again, looking fantastic. So I don't think that she's had anything uh, obviously surgical done over these past eight years. I think if she's had surgery, uh, was probably before this age 58. And uh, those surgeries have been done so well, and she takes such, I'm sure, great care of herself that those results have lasted. So what can we learn from Christie's plastic surgery? Well, number three lesson, I'm gonna give you the, my top three, is that small tweaks can make a big difference. Um, you can take a look at her from 25 to 66. Yes, she's, I do believe she's had some surgeries. Yes, some of these surgeries may have been you know, pretty significant. But when you're talking about a lifetime, she's not one of those who's had so many operations that she looks plastic. And so doing these small tweaks, maybe getting your eyelids done you know, this year and then five years later doing the facelift and then five years later you know, doing the lower eyelids, those are things that a lot of celebrities do because these small tweaks, sometimes you can't really tell they've been done until you look at them over the years and say, oh my gosh, how did they look so incredible? So number two, is that there is no substitute for a good facelift, just not four of them. So what I mean by this is in order to keep a neckline and a jawline as sharp as she has when she's 25, uh, to look as great as she does at 66, typically that does necessitate a real facelift. Botox isn't gonna tighten up the jawline, fillers aren't gonna do it, lasers aren't gonna do it, all therapy is not gonna do it. If you really are gonna reduce jowls and, and get that really sharp neckline, Unfortunately, sometimes you just have to go to the operating room to get that type of a result. Even though it's not for everybody, you know, just to be reasonable and aware of what it can do for you. Now, when I mentioned not four of them, there are some people who've had multiple facelifts. And if you look in Hollywood, you recognize them. Those people who look windswept, they look like they're in that wind tunnel and their face is so tight. It's not like they just had one bad facelift. Most of these, I believe, uh, celebrities have had many facelifts, okay? Uh, two facelifts, possibly, you know, Christie's had two. I don't think she's had more than that, but there are celebrities out there who've had three, four, and even more, and that's when you really start looking unnatural and plastic. And finally, 3D rejuvenation matters. So when you take a look at her, and the reason why she looks so great, and, and the difference between, let's say, Christy Brinkley's result and maybe some of the old, more old-fashioned plastic surgery results is that her face uh, still retains good volume. And this is something that, um, you know, I actually wrote a seminal paper back in 2004 called the Volumetric Facelift. And this was one of the first papers that really described the three-dimensional aging process and how the face deflates and how re-addition of volume, re-addition of fat can really help to keep a nice youthful uh, appearance. And so three-dimensionally rejuvenating, instead of just lifting and tightening, it's the actual addition of volume 
in a conservative manner, not overdoing it, that can keep her looking so incredible. And let me just show you an example. This is actually a patient of mine. This is her when she was quite a bit younger. This was her before any type of surgery. Her face has gotten a bit thinner, and this is her after addition of volume as well as a lift. And you can see what we want to do is take her and bring her back to here, not take her here and just tighten everything up. We want to add that softness back to her face as well. So it's the same idea as what you've seen uh, with Christy Brinkley. So three-dimensional rejuvenation matters. So I hope this was enjoyable for you. Check out this next video right here on Jane Fonda and her plastic surgery as well.